everybody welcome to welcome back to another video my name is Dora trades um and today we'll be talking about something that we're currently going on that's currently going on in the world and how you guys can take advantage of it uh because i know a lot of people aren't in school a lot of people are laid off from work a lot of people are working remotely from home so you know now is the time to start taking advantage of you know the resources that you have around or start adapting to uh just a different world that you're not used to. You're, you know, you may be used to going to your daily job every single day, going to school every day, and now you may not have a job. Uh, you may not have school, and now you're looking for something to do. You need to make money somehow, uh, and the stock market might be the answer. Let me tell you why and uh, the thought process behind it. Right. The first thing is people look at the stock market and say this. If the stock market's going down, how can you make money? Well, that's part of the education process. A lot of people aren't educated on how you can make money on the way down and how you can make money as it's going down uh, for the way up, right? So what you have to do is start educating yourself in the stock market, whether it's free online videos, uh, you know, little chat rooms, or just honestly just Googling and, you know, doing yourself, yourself, uh, exploratory, you know, options, uh, just how I learned and everything, uh, and just figure it out. So the first thing is there's something called options and that's what I trade. I'll, I'll give you a brief understanding of what options really is. So basically if you want to make money as a stock is going up, you buy something called calls, right? You buy that as the stock market is falling, how you make money on the way down is you buy something called puts, right? There's two uh, directions of options. Uh, there's obviously a little, uh, there's other things like straddles, strangles, uh, but we'll keep it brief, simple, so that you understand that you can make money on the way up and on the way down. So if the stock stocks are dropping and you have puts, you make money as it keeps going down. As stocks start rebounding going up, you make money uh, on the way up with calls. You can do that with shares, right? So what people don't understand is these wealthy billionaires, millionaires, what they're doing right now is shopping. So instead of shopping for clothes, designer, uh, food, this, this, and that, what they're doing is this is like, this is them. This, they're looking at like gold, right? They're looking at, they're looking at the stock market, like a Christmas gift because everything is going on sale, right? So what happens is, as you may know, the 2008 financial crisis, market crashed, housing bubble popped. Uh, a lot of things went on sale. You had houses down 40%, 50%. Uh, stock market crashed 50% easily. Um, and what happened is, what happens is every time the market has crashed, every single time, it's always ended up higher in the next five, six, seven, eight, nine years, right? It obviously takes time to recover. It takes a few months, uh, maybe a year. Uh, and it starts recovering to the upside again. So what pe multimillionaires, billionaires, people that know how to invest, they're looking at the stock market like, yo, it may be time to start investing. And what you guys could be doing for the long term is you always want to get into the stock market, invest for your kids or investing for yourself and, you know, finally get in to the stock market. But you didn't know if it was too high. You didn't want to lose your money. Uh, obviously, now might not be the perfect time, but I can tell you it was a better time than two weeks ago when the market was 30% higher, right? You're getting around 30% discount on a lot of things, uh, things like Boeing, uh, car manufa uh, car manufa plane manufacturer uh, is an $89 stock right now, and it was worth over 400 bucks a couple, maybe like a few months ago. So you're getting a lot of things on sale right now, and even though today might not be the best day to invest for the long term, not what I do. What I do is I day trade. So during the day, uh, if the stocks are dropping, I'm in puts, or if the stocks are rebounding upside, I'm in calls. But at the end of the day, I'm not in anything. I'm not swinging towards the next night. Like people who are long term investors hold throughout the days. They don't look at it through the day. They're not trading actively. I'm an active trader, so I'm in and out during the day. Long investing is investing for the long future. So let's just say right now you buy stocks. It might not be the perfect time, but it was a better entry than it was three weeks ago. Why? Because stocks are on sale 30, 40%. You can get a lot of stocks 50% off right now. 
Does that mean it can't drop further? Absolutely not. It can drop a lot further, right? Uh, 60%, you can get down to, I mean, as a general market, you might get down to maybe 16,000 in the Dow. What is that, 40%? Uh, obviously, it can drop more, but this sets you up. Maybe maybe dip, tip your toes into the market, right? Um, obviously, make your own financial decisions. You want to do your own research. What companies are very valuable and are going to be here in the long term? Obviously, I can name you a stock like Apple. Apple's been here for a while. I'm using an Apple uh, new MacBook here uh, to record this video. And they're always selling iPhones. You got stocks like Google. Google's a search engine. Everybody uses Google. That'll be here for the long term. Uh, what can I look on this? Um, you're looking for valuable stocks. You're not looking for growth. You're looking for value. Because growth might slow down just because the whole coronavirus, you're hitting the economy hard. You're looking for hard value stocks. So that's what you want to be dipping your toes in. Uh, stocks like Amazon, even though it's more of a growth stock, it's pretty valuable. Amazon's been taking over the industry. It's actually been holding up well in this coronavirus issue. Uh, today was a very big, bad day as a general market, but Amazon has been uh, killing it. So I just want to explain that to start off the video, and then we'll get started in talk about how my day went and what I did to make money today. So today, uh, this is a TD Ameritrade account. It's the online banking for TD. I know you guys heard of TD Bank, but this is the online version. For people that don't know, this is basically the online TD Bank where you can trade on it, right? So it's a trading platform from TD, TD Ameritrade. Uh, I made $5,660 today. How did I do it, right? Uh, we'll go into detail. How do my students make money on a daily basis? That's that's them, uh, you know, making these trades on their own, uh, just like how anybody can do it from their home. You don't need to be a special person to make trades in the stock market. People always think, oh, you got to work for on Wall Street, this, this and that. An average person, a regular person can buy and sell on the stock market. Does it mean that they'll be good at it? Absolutely not. It's not an easy job. And I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, but is it worth trying to get into the stock market, start learning yourself? You can't get hurt by doing that. Obviously, you may not be good at it, but nothing comes easy, right? So let's get into the video. Right here is my profits. TD Ameritrade, $5,660. The people who people who actively trade will know. Uh, I don't even know what I just clicked. Uh, will know what platform I'm on right now. But let's go to this. So today, market opened pretty hard uh, this morning down maybe six seven hundred eight hundred points thousand points uh a little over a thousand points but trump had a interview or a he's doing uh everyday speeches about the coronavirus so today at 11 30 we had a speech uh market started dipping and we ended up catching so what i do on a daily basis is i create support and resistances for different stocks etfs so that i know where my entry point so what i do here is I create these uh, levels. These are me. These are lines created by me overnight. Uh, and when it comes down to day trade, uh, I use these for my entries. So what I did here is I waited for the interview. As you can see, 1130 was right here. So for the past like hour, it was just consolidating. And when it finally broke right here, uh, this 237 level on SPY, SPY is basically an ETF, right? Well, it is an ETF. So basically how I, I like to explain SPY to so when that's not so familiar familiar with the stock market is, let's just say you, it's called the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is the top 500 stocks in the market, basically. Uh, let's just say you throw all those 500 stocks into one box, close the box and label it SPY. Uh, so as most of the stocks in the box are doing good, uh, SPY will push higher or if at the average stocks in the S&P 500 aren't doing good, SPY will be pushing down. Right. So SPY today broke. Uh, this was my entry here at 233.76. I bought the 236 puts just to be safe. Uh, ended up making $2,200. And then when it finally broke 230, which was right here, as you can see, 230, it started pushing down. I made another, where is it? The 230 puts, 1500 bucks, right? Uh, in total, I made five thousand six hundred and sixty dollars. There was were there were three plays today, uh, and what I did was I bought puts. As I explained before, you can either buy calls if the stock is going up and you want to make money on the upside, or buy puts when the stock uh, 
is heading down and you want to make money off the downside. So as you can see, it broke my support with high volume. You can see the volume in the lower hand corner right here. Uh, 898,000 versus 510. That's breaking with volume. This went from 233 to 230. Obviously, if I held longer, you can hold longer, make a lot more money. But I also do play with a lot more money than the average. Let's just say 20,000. But uh, a regular person can start start in a market with about 1,000, right? Uh, and let's just say I bought here to, at this level and I bought the 230 calls. I would have made money as this pushed up, right? So that's how you make money in a world where there's a pandemic, coronavirus, whatever it may be, uh, and you're stuck at home. What, how can you make money from your computer? A lot of people are always like wondering, like, how the hell are these people on the Internet making money? Is it fake? Is it real? Obviously, 90 percent or 90, 99 percent of the Internet of people making money on the Internet is fake. Right. So that's why you got to do your own research, your own diligence and just understand how the market uh, moves and how you can make money on a daily basis. Uh, and yeah, that's how I made money off the market today. You had spy, spy pushed down. I had certain break points uh, for spy here today uh, and it broke multiple points. As you can see on the way up, supports end up turning into resistances, just like if you broke the second floor, landed on the first floor. When you look on top, the second floor is no longer your floor. It's your ceiling. So when you break support, it turns into your ceiling. Uh, as you can see, push through this resistance which was previously support when we got into puts and pushed all the way up here. So that was SPY. I wanted to get into Tesla today. Look at Tesla. Broke my point right here and just a straight wash through to the next floor. So this is the second floor. Came all the way down on the first floor. I'm just calling it floors so that the average person can understand it. So that's how you make money. That's how you can make money from home during a pandemic, during a coronavirus. You have to be able to adapt to anything so what you do is you got to look into different things obviously stock market is not the only thing you can make money from so it's just one of your options so if you like this video you want more educational videos on how to make money and how to uh how to trade in the market or even vlogs for my channel make sure you leave a comment down below like this video any more information about me will be in the description like my instagram my students page where i post their progress every single day and how you can get started with that so Appreciate everyone for joining this video. I'll see you guys. Peace.